I just want to show you how cute this mug is. Okay, can you see it? Let me see. Okay, so it changes color, right? Okay, so this is like before any hot beverage is in it. And then we pour it in. Okay, you see it? So going. <laughs> but you get the idea. It's so cute! Anyways, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday from home. Happy Wednesday from a very messy... <laughs> Just looking at this makes me very stressed like boxes everywhere. We're starting to pack up our tiny little apartment and These are just boxes that I got from the lab yesterday because we're moving out on Friday and today's Wednesday And I have a lot of feelings. I've just been feeling all of my feelings these past few days and Okay He, he wants to come up. So let me get him and I'll put you down and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna share. Okay. Oh Hero got a haircut, you can see he got a haircut. I'm not sure why I'm feeling so down and so sad because I know what my next year will look like. I know where I'm gonna be at and I'm so I'm in such a freaking blessed position like I'm in such a good position I think it's gonna feel even more real later today when I go in and clean out my bench and I guess I'll take you with me it's a very clear end because it will be marked with me moving out of this apartment I'm not afraid there's no fear because as I said I know where I'm going but I'm just sad but when I think about it like I wouldn't have it any other way like if I had the option to prolong my PhD, I wouldn't. I think it's a good place to end, it's a good time to end. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. I think it's just natural to feel sad, I guess, like, cause it was such a good time and like such, such, it's such, such an incredible time. But I think another big kind of source of my sadness is with regards to actually YouTube. I've been thinking so much about this because I don't know where I want to take my channel. I don't know if I should just start another channel because if you don't know, like I started my YouTube channel posting really random things to begin with. And then I ended up just doing like a day in the life of like a lab based PhD student. And I had so much fun doing that video. I had a lot of fun editing that video and there was interest in this area. So then it just naturally shifted to this direction. And now I find myself in this quote unquote niche on YouTube being a PhD vlogger. <laughs> And when I'm done my PhD, what next? YouTube isn't just about posting videos for me. I consume YouTube videos, so I know how YouTube plays a role in my life in terms of like how it can help me feel connected to other people. And they're different like parts in their life. They're, they're going through different things along their journey. And it's a place where I feel less alone sometimes and like I can go to feel connected and even motivated and inspired just contributing to that community really makes me happy to think that something that I enjoyed putting together something that I had a lot of fun like capturing and filming and stuff can also bring some kind of feeling to some of you and I know my channel is super small and everything but I want my videos to come from a good place with the right motivation so doing PhD vlogs was that for me it was coming from a good place with good motivation and kind of wholesome there was like a wholesome element to it because it served its purpose to document my journey for myself but it also helped me connect with some of you who are also you know doing their PhD or doing grad school or thinking about doing grad school or I've introduced some kind of element of grad school that you don't know about so like it, it served its purpose and just thinking about quitting YouTube once I'm done my PhD that makes me really sad but I'm not quite sure where my motivations will lie or how it will shift once I'm done my PhD so what kind of things I want to share or like what kind of things can contribute to the community that's not just noise or not just repeating whatever is already out there. I just don't know. I, it, 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 it's basically like a, an identity crisis. I'm gonna have to do a lot of reflecting and probably a little bit of trial and error to see where exactly I wanna take this channel. <gasps> 
here are my feelings for you to see oh my gosh okay today i'm gonna be working from home for the first bit i just want to finish up my thesis for real so i have like the introduction i have the body and i have a good chunk of my conclusion so i need to wrap up my conclusion i'm gonna do my best to finish as much as my thesis off as possible it sounds so crazy to say that and then go into the building for lunch with jamin and clean up my bench that's today's plan so let's get writing is this how you do it yeah oh wait not you can't see me wait no hey hey you're there's everybody there she is <laughs> okay bye I'm, I'm never gonna see her again so bye YouTube <laughs> and bye Anne, congratulations and I, and I wish her, you, who do I talk to? How do I talk to you? Anyways, Anne's gonna do great. She's gonna do perfect and I'm very proud of her. Goodbye YouTube. <laughs> oh, it's Can you so see him? Cute. <laughs> it's Gort. I named him Gort. Gorge. Gort. Gort. Yeah, my baby, my child. <laughs> Man, I love him. See, you gotta support the, you gotta support the head. Mm -hmm. You want to, ever want to check if your baby is awake? <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to YouTube, Gord. She lives in a... Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hello, Jamin! Hello! It's just you and me! <laughs> and we're also in the same color! <laughs> Uh, it's 5.05 p.m. and <laughs> hi Jobin. I'm finally going to clean out my bench. So I've been doing invoices for the past few hours. The final invoice, um, I hope, of my PhD. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. This is my bench. I think I can leave the solvents. I need to get rid of all of these personal vials, I guess, and some old samples. Oh my gosh, I left it as a mess. Yeah, so many samples I need to get rid of. I'm not even gonna, yeah. This is so embarrassing. Okay, let's clean it. This one's already pretty clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This feels very anticlimactic. It, it still doesn't feel real. Okay, I'm gonna put on a time lapse, I think. Okay, that's all done. I still left some solvents here because they're still good. So hopefully my lab mates find use in that. Clean out the drawers as best as I can. These are still usable stuff. So hopefully the next person that comes can use some of this. And my hood is pretty much clean here. And these are all clean. <laughs> yeah, they're clean. Maybe I'll just put them up here so that and get it out of the way. Okay. Okay. Done. Thank you so much, Jamin. Oh my god, he stayed until six to help me. Okay. I will see you tomorrow and I, I'm gonna send out my thesis tomorrow so I'll check in with you tomorrow but for now, this is it. This is it. Okay, see you later. Bye. Good morning, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday from doggo number one. Doggo number two, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Doggo number two. And the chaos that is still our apartment. So boxes over there, <laughs> still not packed, moving out tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's just chaos, 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 chaos everywhere. But today is a very special day because I am about to, okay, first I have to do one more thing because there was a kind of a little bit of a miscommunication between me and the boss man about where we wanted to submit one of my manuscripts. So we had to retract that manuscript from the journal that I accidentally submitted it to. And now I have to submit this paper to a different journal. And I think this journal has a lot of formatting requirements that will take a little bit of time. And then I will go and 
give my thesis a final read through and then send it off to the committee members. For the thesis, it has to be approved by the committee members first of my academic committee. So usually I think they get about two weeks, but this is right before the break. So I think I'm gonna give them more time um, and ask for it back early January. But yeah, I just want it out of the way. But as you know, I feel a lot of feelings and yesterday was just, yesterday was hard. Like to be clearing everything out, it felt strange. It didn't feel like I was actually experiencing it or like it, it just felt like an out of body experience. I don't know. I don't know how to put it into words. Anywho, I'm gonna sip my coffee with my doggo. Wow, so many doggos in the frame, two doggos. I'm gonna sip on my coffee, resubmit that paper, and then I'll check back in with you when I send off the thesis. <laughs> Hello, it is a little bit later now. I am a little bit colder now, hence I am in my sweater. Oh! So I submitted my paper. That took a while just to figure out all the different formatting stuff because each journal has like their own formatting requirements and everything. And then I went over my thesis for the millionth time just to make sure everything is there and in order. And I really did my best to make sure that, oh my gosh, my hair, that there are no freaking, you know, spelling mistakes or like figures that are not properly embedded and stuff. So I did my best, but I think this whole point of me sending it super early to my committee is that they will be able to catch anything and like you know give any feedback and stuff and now i am uploading my thesis to the ubc shared drive so then i can send it to my committee members obviously the thesis is huge so i can't just attach it to the email like a normal file and there are so many freaking things that are required for like yeah so many deadlines and stuff so thank goodness there's like this checklist that ubc oh my gosh here oh, can you not okay Come on, stay, stay, okay? Yeah, so thank goodness there's this UBC like checklist that like lists everything out really nicely and clearly. So I'm going to give my committee until mid-January to finish with the edits because I have to submit it to the higher up people by the end of January. So, okay, let me see what I need to attach. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. I want you to be here with me even though this isn't actually the official submission. Just sending out a version of my thesis is a big deal. Okay, stay right there. By the way, I got a new laptop because my Dell laptop that has been with me since the beginning of grad school died. And thank goodness the company that I work at was able to give me a laptop. And yay, now I have a fancy Mac. But can you even see? Oh, how do I, oh, squeaky, squeaky, <laughs> too squeaky, okay. I'm not sure if this is too troll. Cause my, my committee members are super cool, but I'm not sure if everyone will pre I think I think it's fine. Wait, let me show you. <laughs> so I wrote early Christmas present and thesis, sorry. <laughs> I think that's fine, right? What's the worst that can happen? Like they're just gonna be like, they just don't. Click this link one more time. Make sure it works. And yep, there it is. There she is. And thesis. Ah, oh, this feels unreal. I didn't even start writing the dedication and the acknowledgements because I'm not ready for that emotionally yet. It's going to be a whole thing. So just put that in later. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Once I hit send, it's just GG. GG, GG, GG. Eh. Mm. Okay. Mm. My heart, my heart, my heart, my heart. Okay. 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 Ah, I sent it. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm just gonna take a little bit of time to recover. 
and then I have to really seriously get packing. My partner is doing his final exam for medical school, so he should be home soon to help with packing. This marks the end of the PhD vlogs for now, I think. If there's another PhD vlog, I think that might mean that like there's something that has gone wrong and I need to go do experiments that could happen. So we're not gonna call it an end yet, but I'll see you in the next one. Oh my god.